Hi, I'm John Borhek with VM Sources Virtualization. We'd like to welcome you to Module 2 of our complimentary course about the free edition of the VMware Hypervisor, also known as ESXi. VM Sources Virtualization specializes in providing the highest quality VMware training and consulting available anywhere. What we're going to do here is download the free edition of the VMware Hypervisor. We're going to burn the ISO image to a CD. We're going to place the CD in the optical drive of our server. Then we're going to power the server on and install ESXi. To download the VMware Hypervisor, go to www.vmware.com and sign up with your email address and password. That will give you access to the vSphere Hypervisor ISO and a license file for the free edition of ESXi. Burning your vSphere Hypervisor ISO to a disk will require some sort of software like Nero or Roxio. Once you've got the ISO burnt to a disk, place it in the server of your choice and power that server on. Okay, we're watching here as our server powers on and boots up. We are going to go ahead and press F8 to configure our uh, drive arrays, our logical array. So we're going to delete any pre-existing array that might have existed here. Now we're going to create a new logical drive, RAID 1, as VMware recommends. And that's done. So we're going to press Escape to exit. And here you see the VM kernel, aka the hypervisor, loading even before the install takes place. In reality, ESXi is one of the easiest installs you'll ever perform. It's only got a few options, and then it installs to DHCP, allowing you to configure static IP addresses, DNS, password, and everything else after the fact. We're simply going to go ahead and press Enter. Then we're going to press F11 to accept. It sees our local RAID 1 VMware block device. Enter to continue. F11 to install. And we're on our way. Now that we've been sure to remove the media from our CD-ROM drive, we're going to press Enter to reboot, and we're going to watch ESXi restart. We'll give our server a minute to reboot and watch ESXi in its startup. Okay, there you have it, the completed install of VMware Hypervisor, or ESXi.
In conclusion, we've downloaded the free VMware hypervisor, we burnt the ISO image to a CD, we placed the CD into our server, we powered on the server, and installed ESXi. That concludes Module 2 of VMSource's complimentary course in the free VMware hypervisor. To continue with Module 3 or learn more about virtualization, visit www.vmsources.com. Thanks for watching.